There. Snazzy. Pull back on the stick on the right hand side. Pull back. Pull. There you go. We're flying. I've flown before in a smaller plane and it was nothing like this. The cockpit was totally different and I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out what everything did. Here it was just way more intuitive. I could just poke the screen and go where I wanted to go and zoom in on the map and it was just way easier for me. It just made a lot of sense. Well, there yeah, you go. Got it. The avionics larger display, the upfront control, the, uh, the finger on glass uh, technology and we really tried to put as much functionality on there as we could and take as many mechanical switches out of the cockpit. I mean, that's in our fighters in the Air Force today. Um, and we brought that into this cockpit, and we're putting that into our, our oh, Boeing fighters uh, as we speak. And then on the top right again, it says HUD video. Okay. You hit that. Oh, wow. There you go. That's so cool. Yep. Every time I was supposed to do something, I could find the button immediately. The touch screen worked really well. It was just really easy to get everything that I wanted to see. And that was really cool. So I thought it would be much more difficult. This was more geared towards like the younger generation or the generation coming up and it's easier to use than having a lot of switches or knobs or anything. So you can really relate to having to use this like how you use your phone on a day to day. I use a lot of technology obviously as a teenager today and I think that it's really, really smart and innovative to apply the same technologies and touch screens and apps to our fighter jets for our military. I see it. I was really impressed with like how you could see like the person in front of you and like how their screen could be on your screen and you could like see what they're clicking. Like if you're the instructor, you could see if they click something wrong, you can see it if you click the right button and that was really awesome. Uh, we have, you know, stadium seating. You know, typically the instructor will sit in the back for most of the flights. Um, and we've stepped that up so it's a great view from the back. So if the instructor needs to fly and demonstrate um, some sort of technique to the student. The instructor will also easily monitor the student. Being one of the first members of the public to see something that's this cutting edge and advanced, it's just really a complete honor to be here.